Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IFA. Uh, thank you very much for setting the time aside to be with us, to listen to uh, Beko's version of the future. I am actually really delighted to see so many of you today from the uh, media. Um, as you know, IFA is unique uh, for our industry. It is the largest uh, trade fair where uh, basically every one of our competitors and us uh, get a chance to talk about our product roadmap. Uh, uh, we're very proud to be here. We have been part of this event for a very long time. Uh, we hope actually you enjoy all the products that we're showcasing over here and spend some time talking to my colleagues uh, about all of the new innovations that we're uh, bringing to market. Um, I'm going to basically talk about what Beko focuses on. Uh, we believe that uh, innovation, we believe in innovation that focuses on improving the everyday life of the consumer. Uh, we've transformed our business through innovation. Beko uh, today uh, basically is able to create the wor what we call the world's first products, the world's most energy efficient refrigerator, the world's most silent refrigerator. Uh, these world's firsts are actually uh, something we're extremely proud of because we believe that these Technological innovations in our product ranges really make a difference in uh, our consumers' everyday life. Uh, what do we base these? Uh, uh, what do we base this work on? What are we trying to? Uh, what trends are we following? Well, we all know that uh, the world is changing very, very fast. Uh, some of the global trends are the demographic changes that are happening. We have an aging uh, population. Uh, there's a big economic shift happening. Uh, as emerging markets uh, grow and become wealthier, the world's uh, center of gravity in terms of economic wealth creation is shifting uh, to these emerging markets. Uh, this has an effect uh, in terms of market growth. Urbanization is a big trend. Uh, increasingly, consumers are living in dense cities, which means less living space, which means very fast-paced lives. Uh, sustainability is becoming an issue. As populations grow, cities get bigger. Uh, the environment is not just the concern of the consumers, but also us as a company. We feel responsibility, and we invest a lot of time, technology, and effort in this. Um, digital transformation. The whole world is becoming digital. I know uh, that every company you visit over here will talk about connectivity, communication, smart homes. Well, we're definitely a part of that change. Uh, we're focusing a lot of energy on it but we believe in innovation that makes a difference today uh, to the consumer. Uh, I'll talk about these trends uh, a little without going into too much detail. I promise not to bore you. Uh, we will also have a Q&A at the end of the session so you can ask more specific questions about these, uh, these topics. Uh, so by 2030, uh, we expect uh, one billion uh, more people to join uh, the middle class, actually. If you think about it, uh, today, 38% uh, of the GDP comes from emerging markets. We believe by 2030, this number will be closer to 60%. This means new markets. This means a huge growth in businesses in these areas, in developing countries, as their share of GDP grows. Uh, Two-thirds of the middle class globally will be living in Asia. Uh, this will explain Beko's focus a little bit on the Asia-Pacific uh, and our growth plans in uh, emerging markets. Uh, we're expanding. We have, a, uh, as you know, we have, or you may not know, Beko has a production facility in China. China is an important market for us. We're growing. Uh, we have a, uh, a new factory in Thailand, uh, which is operational. We have new subsidiaries in markets like Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam, uh, Thailand. So we are focusing a lot of our energy and growth on uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, but not just in terms of sales and production. Uh, we are also investing in new R&D centers globally. Uh, we have a new R&D center in, uh, in uh, uh, not only China, but also in uh, uh, Taiwan and uh, Thailand. Um, <laughs> what is happening? Well, these are uh, uh, UN uh, uh, numbers. Uh, you know, developing countries, people are living longer. Uh, so the demographic, our customer uh, description is changing. We need to make uh, you know, products that are easier to use, easier to understand, that interact, uh, that are reliable. Uh, that have simple interfaces uh, that are easy to use, basically, instinctive controls. So we're focusing a lot of energy uh, on this as well. 
uh, rapid urbanization will bring another reality as uh, uh, basically uh, when you live in a city, time is much more limited. Um, people are much busier. So uh, we're not just only trying to create appliances which are energy saving, water saving in terms of sustainability, but time. Time is something very critical for us and something very dear to our heart. We are trying to create products which save consumers time. Um, people will be living in smaller spaces, so we need to create appliances that fit in these smaller places, that make less noise so they don't disturb people. These are all actually uh, facts that come from trying to understand the consumer and how we can better uh, their daily lives. Uh, as I mentioned, sustainability will become vital, not just for the consumer, but for companies like us. Uh, we place a lot of emphasis on this. Uh, we are a signatory to uh, the COP21 um, declaration. Uh, if you look at our past record in this regard, between 2010 and 2015, uh, we reduced our greenhouse gas emissions by 51%. This is extremely significant and this is voluntary. Uh, all of us at uh, BECO believe, uh, or every day when we get out of bed, we think how we can do something for the environment, how we can do something to leave a better future for our children. And we work in this way. So 51% reduction in greenhouse gases, 10% reduction in total water use. This is in you know, production as well. 18% uh, reduction in waste. This is just the past. Uh, we aim to accelerate uh, these numbers uh, going forward. Uh, all our factories have gold and platinum certificates in terms of uh, efficiency and uh, from a green perspective. Um, another big uh, change, as we know, half the world will be uh, connected to the internet. I mean, that now today sounds like it's not a huge number, but this is a massive number. And uh, the possibilities it brings are endless. Uh, so basically, uh, we will be focusing on analyzing data real time. Today, we are investing uh, in human resources uh, that uh, uh, we are building software architecture. We are building uh, basically software, uh, software architecture, but also data uh, analytics capabilities. Uh, we are working on uh, making sense of all the data that connected appliances will create. And the sole purpose there is to be able to create better products for people, uh, better lives for people uh, in how they use the appliances. In our future, um, in our vision of the future, appliances will talk to each other. Appliances uh, stop, our relationship with appliances will stop being transactional. When I mean transactional, you press a button and it works. Uh, it'll be a relationship. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but appliances will talk back to you. They will understand what you're trying to do uh, through repetitive behavior, and they will actually take action on their own, which will uh, reduce the amount of time and energy uh, the user has to uh, invest in using their appliances. We have a small video that uh, shows uh, our version of the future. Let's watch that, if you like, for a few minutes.
It's, uh, it's my birthday in two weeks, so I told our head of R&D who's sitting here that I want one of those wands as well. Um, this is our vision of the future. And uh, uh, I'm happy to say that we are working today on the future, and we will showcase many products here which are far along the way. Uh, and uh, we believe that these products really will make a difference in people's everyday life. Um, so, uh, how are we going to do this? Well, uh, technology and design are obviously central, but we believe that the user interface is everything. So I think uh, we are at a time in history, normally it's either technology that drives something, design that drives another direction. These two have to merge and work perfectly uh, to create the most uh, seamless uh, user interface. We need to use digital technology to transform the way we manufacture our goods. And uh, we are doing that today. Industry 4.0 is very much a reality. Our investment in Romania, uh, which will be uh, hopefully up and running in a year, I'm looking at our CTO, uh, will be almost as close to a dark factory as we can get. Uh, the purpose here is to create efficiency, again, to be more sustainable. Uh, Archeric has a very long uh, history. Um, we uh, started in 1955, almost 60 years ago, uh, producing washing machines. Um, Obviously, we have transformed the business over six decades. Uh, today, we have 27,000 people in uh, uh, 15 factories in six countries. Uh, actually, if we were to add uh, our latest acquisition, uh, Pakistan, to that, which hasn't closed yet, we're waiting for regulatory approval, that would be 30,018 factories in seven countries. Uh, we have 10 brands in 130 countries. Our uh, most global brand is Beko. Uh, which I'm sure you recognize. Uh, we have been, with Beko, we have been the fastest growing brand in Europe for the past seven years. Uh, we lead the freestanding market. I'm sure, uh, well, some of you may, some of you may not know, but we are uh, market leaders in the UK, in Poland. We're number one in Eastern Europe, number two in uh, Western Europe. Uh, so we're very, very proud of uh, all the achievements that we have had in Europe, and we will continue uh, this fast pace of growth. Uh, when we look at uh, uh, future growth areas, we are focusing on the Asia-Pacific. Uh, Asia-Pacific, Asia as I explained, for all the uh, trends, uh, is where the growth in our industry will come. It's actually the largest market for appliances. Uh, Thailand has become a regional manufacturing hub for us. And, um, well, I'm happy to say that as a, as a Turk, myself, we are proud of the role that we have played many, many centuries back uh, in development of commerce through the Silk Road. The Silk Road goes through uh, Turkey, as you know. Well, today we want to recreate the Silk Road as a Beko Road, and we want to actually, all the way from Turkey to China, uh, get, gain dominant positions in emerging markets. So we're focusing a lot of effort, and you know, our Pakistan acquisition is part of that strategy. Our Thailand factory is part of that strategy. Uh, the US is another area of focus for us. Uh, it's the second largest market in the world. Uh, we believe by bringing product technology and real features that make a difference in users' daily lives, as I keep, uh, as I keep mentioning, uh, we will be able to make a difference uh, in the U.S. market. It'll take time. We've established uh, our uh, company in Chicago, and uh, we've opened an R&D office in Boston. Uh, we're already part of uh, MIT Labs uh, project development team, so we've been in America for some time but we believe we will accelerate our growth uh, over there with products that are designed for the American consumer. And today you'll have a chance to see some of those products. I'm sure many of you will uh, notice the difference to what's available today in the US market. Um, we're uh, over in over 100 countries with our Beko brand now. Uh, we aim to be among the leading uh, top three in the markets that we operate. And uh, uh, we uh, are steadily moving towards the days where we believe the consumer will choose Beko over our competition. Uh, how will we do this? 
I keep stressing this, but innovation, innovation, innovation. Uh, we have more than 1,000 R&D uh, engineers working every day tirelessly in 11 centers around the world trying to better uh, the everyday life uh, of the consumer. Um, how do we know we're doing the right thing? Well, the World uh, Intellectual Property Agency, WIPO, just released a report last week, and BECO is number 78 globally in terms of patent applications. Now, it may come as a surprise to you, but this puts us ahead of companies like Boeing, Shell, uh, I believe Microsoft was on that list too. Uh, but anyway, being uh, uh, part of the leadership team of a company that is creating intellectual property at this rate and is among the top 100 companies globally uh, is something that makes me very proud. And I know a lot of this intellectual property creation will reflect in our products, will reflect in uh, our future uh, product roadmaps. And I hope you see and feel that today in our booth. Uh, we are partners with our customers. We really take the consumer uh, to the center of our heart. Uh, we today, uh, Rajan will share with you some of the details of what we're doing. Uh, but clearly, uh, we don't see ourselves as an appliance manufacturer. We see ourselves as a partner to the consumer. We see ourselves as part of their everyday lives. And we all feel this uh, with a passion. Um, we want to cement this partnership, and we're doing a lot of work around that. I'd like to invite uh, Rajan, uh, my colleague, who will go into a little bit of detail of how we plan to do that. Thank you very much. So thank you, Mr. Akhan, and uh, good afternoon, one and all, and uh, once again, welcome to the Beko booth. Today, I'm uh, delighted and excited to be given the opportunity of uh, unveiling to you some of our latest innovations that we are about to uh, launch here at IFA 2016. And today you got a front row seat to see some of these innovations firsthand. At the end of the tour, I do encourage you, uh, at, at the end of the uh, conference, I do encourage you to join the tour and you can see some of these products um, in more detail. Um, before I talk about the innovations, I think the first thing I would like to talk about is the official partner, the official partner of the everyday. Um, this is a campaign that we launched in 2016 uh, worldwide, and it's a campaign that embodies how we start to understand the consumer and we design products and solutions to transform their everyday lives. I'll play a very short video for you that gives you a better understanding of this. <laughs> The name on this sleeve means we're the official partner of FC Barcelona. The name on everything else we make means we're the official partner of every you and every me. We're the official partner of Midnight Adventurers. After the party heroes. We're the official partner of you for getting her birthday. Yes, you. And the way you will fix it. Starting the diet. Tomorrow? <laughs> yes, we're the official partner of Diet Layers 2. We are the official partner of money left in pockets. And of those odd socks when you're running late. We are the official partner of the Lucky T-shirt. We're the official partner of rising, falling, and getting up again. We're the official partner of this team spirit. And this one. We are Beko. We are the official partner of the everyday. So understanding consumers for us is essentially important as we bring new products and solutions to our consumers and transform their lives to be easier and uh, simpler. In fact, what we're doing in Berlin, probably about 20 minutes away from here, is we have a home with real people and real families experiencing our Beko products. Um, today we did some uh, live recording of their insights to give us an understanding of how they're using the appliances. And once again, I'd like to share some of that insight with you. I'm Zane 
here in this beautiful bed of echo home in Berlin. The whole house has been kitted out with lots of brilliant Becker appliances, which will be put to great use throughout the week. If you'd like to see how we get on, follow me over on my blog. And in the meantime, here's what we've been up to in the first 24 hours in the house. Enjoy the rest of Eva. Bye. Ready for some dessert? This split oven is already proven great. I've been able to cut chocolate brownies in the bottom and a chicken pie in the top, and I know that it will get put to great use for the rest of the week because Harry and Amelia are both fussy eaters, so I'll be able to cut them different meals at the same time. Brilliant. Thank you, Becco. We love this dishwasher. We've just had our first big family meal and we've managed to fit everything inside, no problem. As a mum, the thing I love the most about it is got this iron guard technology which means you don't do any chemicals at all and it keeps odours at bay. The kids have been out in the garden today and making chocolate brownies. So as you can imagine, they're covered in stains and food. So that's where Becca's washing wear function comes in handy. It means I can chuck in all the washing and it'll be ready to go in just under two hours. And it means that we can do something much more fun. We love this Becca fridge, which is great because it means we can stock it up with lots of great fresh food and veg and it'll last for longer. Okay, so these are real people and real families that, uh, that will give us insight, and they will be in this house for the next uh, few weeks. Uh, I do encourage, uh, especially our press corps, if you want to visit this home, we can make arrangements with our staff to showcase this to you firsthand. Okay, so enough about that. Um, I'd, I'd like to now go into um, some of our new product technologies. We'll talk about uh, innovation in cooling and in ever fresh plus zero degrees Celsius specifically. In laundry care, we'll talk about uh, air therapy. In dishwashers, we'll talk about iron guard. And then in cooking, we have three major technologies that we will showcase to you. Firstly, let's talk about laundry. S sorry, first, let's talk about the cooling category. In the cooling category, we have a new technology called Everfresh Plus Zero. In 2015, we launched Everfresh Plus, which was suitable for fruits and vegetables, keeping them fresher for longer. In 2016, we've extended this innovation by adding the zero degrees uh, function, which helps keep meat, poultry, and fish fresher for up to three times longer. So this is an additional feature. To complement this big innovation, we are still leading in energy efficiency. Now, most refrigerators in the market are plus, but we are 30% more efficient, and that's a major benefit to our consumers. We're also proud to announce that we have the lowest noise level in the industry of refrigerators at 34 decibels. If those that you, um, uh, just to compare what that sounds like, it actually sounds like a whisper. Okay, so that's a big benefit for those consumers that want uh, refrigerating with low noises. Uh, moving on to the laundry segment. We are proud to introduce to you uh, the latest innovation of world technology called air therapy. It's the first for warm air circulation. Now, this technology has five, four major features. One is a refresh program, so it refreshes your garments within 30 minutes, which is a major feature and important for those consumers that want a convenient life. An anti-crease function, so if you leave your laundry in your um, washing machine for up to six to seven hours, when you take them out, they will be crease and wrinkle free. The third major feature is Drum Clean Plus. It prevents bad odors in the drum, which happens on most conventional washing machines. And the fourth and last feature is the clean and wear function. In this function, it helps to wash dry and wrinkle free and have your clothes ready to wear in 120 minutes. Moving on to the dishwasher segment. We're proud to launch a new innovation called Iron Guard technology. So with, um, with Iron Guard, basically it's the world's first chemical and gas-free injection of uh, um, uh, ions into the um, washing machine, so it helps with odor-free um, and removal of dishwasher. Ultimate glass care solutions helps keep your glasses longer, and the third major feature is the auto glass shield technology, prolonging the lifetime of your glasses for up to 20 times. I'll now go on to the cooking uh, section and talk about the innovations in cooking. 
we have, like I said, three major technologies. Uh, firstly, in terms of split and cook, this is a dual oven cooking process. You can bake a cake on one level and have a roast chicken on another level. There is no polarizing and tainting or transfer of aromas and smells. So this is a very valuable function for our consumers. To complement that, we also have surf technology, which is the first in the world. So on the sides of the oven, we have uh, warm air blowing into uh, both the upper and the bottom levels of the oven. That helps for even cooking for both the dishes that you have in the oven. And that's a major feature that consumers will enjoy. Uh, in addition to this, we also have new hob to hood technology. So we have multiple sensors in the hob and the hood that connect with each other and identify the different zones that we have in the hob. And that allows for maximum extraction. I'll talk more about that uh, in a few minutes, but that is uh, basically uh, three major world innovations that will transform the lives of our consumers. So moving on to the hob and hood technology specifically. Uh, so hob to hood connectivity um, allows for more command over your cooking, so it's uh, basically your hob and your hoods talking to themselves. Uh, we also have a pro smart hood for lower efficiency and lower energy consumption and noise levels and direct access control um, induction hub and this is easy direct control and adjustment. So to complement these major domestic appliances, we also have a range of small domestic appliances and um, this year at uh, IFA, we will launch uh, four new models or four new categories to complement the big range that we have and the, uh, the major domestic. One is uh, um, the kitchen machine. The second one is a coffee maker, bean to cup espresso maker. The third is the high end, the steam extra. And the fourth is the Silent Storm Eco Smart vacuum cleaner. Now, I'm not going to explain too much of this in detail uh, in this session, but we, once again, we do hope you uh, join us on the tour and we can give you a first-hand experience of how these small domestic appliances work. So what I've been through is um, innovations in four of our key categories that we compete in, and um, ultimately, we're trying to be, make a big difference in our consumer's life, improving um, the quality of their lives and how they engage. We are soon becoming a smart partner. We are soon becoming an eco partner. We are also a social partner and finally an official partner of the everyday. The official partner of Play is, uh, is a, a bridge uh, started with the official partner of everyday where we try to it's an important value within the Beko brand. And as we try to connect with our consumers and allow our appliances to help them free up time to engage with their family and enjoy the finer things in life, the official partner of Play is uh, it's really a very important uh, part of the brand strategy. And I'd like to show you a small uh, clip or video of um, how this comes to life. We want um, the brand Beko aligned with FCB to inspire and um, help families and real people and kids enjoy and play. And I think the values that FCB have and the values that Beko has is very much aligned. And together, we are building um, uh, a partnership where we engage and ensure that this, uh, this is translated to the consumer. Um, the partnership that we have with Barcelona started in um, 2014, in June 2014, and it's a love affair that started because we have shared values. And um, 
This is a partnership that allows us to translate not only our brand awareness to uh, 300 million people around the world and 1 billion viewers around the world, um, it is also a, 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 an avenue for us to connect with our consumers and getting them to experience our products in a way that transforms their lives. Um, the best way for me to describe how we actually do that and how we transform consumers' lives is to um, introduce to you very soon a ex-legend of um, uh, or a legend of Barcelona um, that will give you an understanding of how the values that we have as a brand is aligned to the values of Barcelona. Now, this is an individual that um, has achieved many things in his sporting career. Um, he has two championship medals. He's won four La Liga medals. He's been instrumental in Barcelona's success over the last uh, four years. And uh, what's very important is to understand the way Barcelona play, which is very um, uh, entertaining, it is very skillful, and it's very tactical, um, that ultimately results in them achieving what they do. At Beko, we try to do the same thing with having appliances that are technologically advanced and transforms the lives of our consumers. I'll play um, the video you show, probably gave you a short preview of who I'm talking about, played for club and country, and has been uh, probably the envy of most footballers around the world of what he's achieved, um, but also uh, admired by many fans, including myself. And with that, uh, I'd like to introduce you to Eric Abidal. Good afternoon, Eric, and welcome, afternoon. and uh, so glad to have you on stage. I feel so excited being in the presence of uh, greatness, if I put it that way. I think um, what I'd like to do, Eric, is just ask a few general questions about um, yourself and obviously your life at uh, uh, a great, iconic brand and a club like FC Barcelona, and uh, perhaps you can maybe share some of those insights with us. I guess the first question, the most important one, was... Um, as, as a youngster and as a player of an iconic uh, brand like FCB, what does it mean for you? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, for me, it was, uh, was a dream when I was young. Uh, my goal was to be football players and the opportunity also to, to play in the, the best team in the world. But it uh, uh, dif was a difficult stuff because uh, the level of the exigencies always, every year, uh, want to achieve the goals, uh, to share the experience with people, with players, and also for my culture. Uh, and the sport, and uh, also in the uh, Football Club Barcelona, is not on, on, only play football, it's not only win games, it's also to, to live all together, have uh, good friends, uh, because uh, teamwork is more important than uh, victories and, uh, and trophies. Thank you. That's very interesting. I think that um, you've played in a football club with many stars and uh, yourself being a star. And uh, what's very important, perhaps, is the values that you have in the club that grounds the uh, mega stars um, in a way that uh, helps you to work as a team. Um, what are some of the things they tell you in the change room and just in the club itself in terms of how to have humility, be humble, and uh, not you know, be, have a big head, if I put it that way? No, never. I think uh, this is the, 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 the most important. Uh, you are a big company or big clubs, but uh, a lot of big players like Messi, like Ronaldo, are very humble. Uh, they win many trophies. They are maybe the, the best player in the world. But uh, it's, uh, I think, the, the best thing we can have in the sports. Uh, to share the values, loyalty, trust, uh, teamwork, uh, the friendship, uh, to be better every day is not uh, to come to train and uh, that's enough. Uh, you have to work out to achieve the goal at the end of, of the season. Great. I guess the next question I've got to ask you, Abidal, is that um, um, in your quest and achievement of success and what you've done in your life, uh, you've probably had many highlights, scored many winning goals in El Clasico finals, and, uh, but you probably had some lowlights as well. Uh, either or, can you comment on some of that? Yes, uh, with Barcelona we won a lot of trophies, like Champions League, like, uh, like uh, Liga, etc. It uh, was the, the best moments, but during uh, uh, in 2011 and 2012, 
I have a liver transplant. It was a bad moment for me. Wow. But with the support of the community, support of the club, of the, the players, uh, they give me the, 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 the strength to, to fight against this, this disease. And finally, the, the victory is the victory of the team, the victory of the, of the country, of the people, and also with my, my family. And uh, I think all these things uh, on, in the sports can help you to fight uh, for the bad moments. So thank you, people. Thank you, football. Thank you, sports. Because with sports, you have a better mentality, I think. Great. So before you leave the stage, one final question. Um, in terms of how partnership with the FCB, and uh, obviously you all proudly that Becker logo on the side, what does it mean for players and the club, this partnership and how we engage with you? Uh, first of all, I think it's like uh, not only the image. Uh, this is the value. Uh, respect people. I think Becker respect a lot of families. They make a project, a big project, and the best project in the world. Uh, very humble people. Thank you, Mr. And uh, the partnership with Barcelona is also, uh, what I said, uh, the values, uh, sharing uh, experience, not only in sports, and give access to people, share time with people, with families. And uh, uh, my dream is have a, a freezer like Beko in my, my kitchen. Okay. Yes, to be, to be <laughs> honest, to be honest, we have a lot of, of brands. But to have one br fridge like this with uh, Barcelona design is something amazing. Okay. You imagine uh, last 10 years was impossible. Yeah. Now it's possible. Okay. Now you haven't seen what's underneath there because that's what we're going to do right now. And thank you for that insight. Oh, sorry. Please remain on the stage. I'd like to call Mr. Hakan to uh, please come up and help me. So over the course of the last few months, we've been engaging with um, Barcelona and our partners to firstly understand we have uh, 300 million supporters and uh, habit fans of the brand and through some insight there's been a need to create some appliances for these crazy fans and today we are about to unveil unveil at least four appliances that will connect with these consumers if Be I can before, please, before yeah. we do that Eric I have to uh, you really are an inspiration to me I mean not only uh, success in sports but coming back from an illness like that and uh, thank you. amazing uh, thank you really you proud much. to have you here thank you for coming thank you Eric. thank you, thank you. Um, so now we can he kind of gave away the surprise. I guess you can guess what it is, right? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Why don't you come in? No, no, it's good. I mean, but it's nice to have him dreaming about a Beko refrigerator. Shall we? Um, now, obviously, I have one of these in my home already. Why don't you come uh, to the other side and let's uh, maybe get a picture for the gentleman. Thank you. Uh, soon you'll be able to buy these in stores. We expect you all to become Barcelona fans and have one in your kitchen. Uh, thank you very much. Eric, really, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.